Yes or no? We're supposed to move on to the Dark Magic Plus. Dark Magic Plus, first of all, that's not the Dark Magic. So there are a number of improvements we have made over the original Dark Magic. Да, несколько улучшений мы ввели по сравнению с оригиналом. Uh, first of which, we have a volume control and headphone output. Uh, and the volume control has two different modes. In the first mode, the volume control will control the level of headphone output. Uh, uh, allowing you to use the DAC Magic Plus as a headphone uh, preamplifier. So I headphone deck, and I can switch it into preamp mode, and then the volume control will control the level of the analog output. In the second mode, will use as a preamplifier its own oscillator, and it will control the level of its resistance and its output. And to switch it between these modes, I press in the volume whilst powering up, and it will switch between the two modes. We've also added, just like on the 851C, a high-resolution USB, allowing you to input up to 24192 from your computer. Again, it's Mac and PC friendly. And we have also, there is an optional BT100 Bluetooth module, which allows you to understand Bluetooth audio this will allow uh, the unit to pair with any Bluetooth device. But this is compatible with Aptex Bluetooth. So Aptex so Aptex is a higher quality of Bluetooth audio codec. And if your device outputs Aptex, this will automatically recognize it. And give you the best sound. This received Bluetooth audio also goes through the same input circuitry. Signal from Bluetooth module goes through the same 24384 kilohertz audio upsampling that we run in here. It can go through the same scheme of upsampling and also reduce the status of the equalizer to 384 kHz. So all of the inputs, whether it's Bluetooth, USB, or traditional digital, will get the best possible sound. So all these inputs, starting with Bluetooth, USB, and ending with traditional, like coaxial, or optical. Okay.